What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys and today I'm going to be talking about five reasons you do not want to buy the Galaxy S24 Ultra and of course you guys know I'm going to be buying an S24 Ultra and a lot of you probably will because you're Samsung fans but there's a lot of people out there who may not like some of the upgrades and since we already have all the specs in front of us we know the spec sheet I figured I'd give you the top five reasons why you may not want to consider the S24 Ultra and stick with what you already have whether that's the S23 Ultra or whatever it may be. Before we get started, I do want to thank my son Jonathan for giving us some diamonds to hang out. We've got the Raptor and the Barosaurus. He got these for Christmas. He really wanted to show those off. He's really, really proud of those. So we really appreciate him always giving us some dinos to hang out in the videos. And I also want to remind you, if you're going to be ordering the Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, or S24 Ultra, you can sign up if you're in the U.S. to get a free mystery box from us. You get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand. The link will be in the pinned comment description. You put your email, first name, last name. Sign up. You guys don't have to pay anything for shipping. You don't have to pay anything for the products. We cover all of that. All you have to do to get the box is to use my, my Samsung affiliate link when you order. That's how we pay for this. We invest the affiliate money back into the products and the shipping cost. We make a little bit of profit, but we're able to give back to you guys as well. It's a win-win for the channel, win-win for you guys. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. People really enjoy it, so we're happy to do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video and talk a little bit more about why you might want to consider not purchasing the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The first reason has to do with the display. So if you're a fan of the curved display, which the Galaxy S23 Ultra has a very minimal curve, but if you have something like the S22 Ultra, which is a very drastic curve, and you like that curve feeling, that's not going to be the case on your S24 Ultra. The display has basically been flattened out so that everything is completely flat like a rectangle and you don't have these rounded edges. Now, I personally am a fan of the flatter display. So for me, this is a reason why I would want to upgrade to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. But for those of you out here who like the curved display, that's definitely something that's confirmed. We've seen it over and over again in the actual renders. In fact, I have the spec sheet here. You can kind of see the boxier design on the S24 Ultra here. If you zoom in, this is the official spec sheet that was released by Evan Blass. Now, the next thing, which will actually stick right here with the spec sheet, is if you use your 10 times optical zoom on your Galaxy S23 Ultra, that is going to be going away with the S24 Ultra, and that would be the second reason that you may consider not wanting to upgrade. Now, of course, you see the 10 times zoom is listed there, but that's actually going to be a digital zoom that's enhanced by computational photography. So what that means at the end of the day, of course, is that if you get the Galaxy S24 Ultra, you're again going to be dealing with the fact that you're going to have digital zoom for the 10X instead of the optical. And of course, I do love my optical zoom on my S23 Ultra, and it is something that I will miss when it comes to this particular device when I move on to the S24 Ultra at the end of the day. The third thing is if you're not a very big fan of AI, you may want to consider staying away from the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, I love One UI 6.0, and it's a great operating system, and Samsung has basically come out and said that the one thing they will be doing going forward is that they will be adding a bunch of AI features on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Some of those may be exclusives, and some of them you may even have to pay to use on a monthly basis or to unlock over the life of the phone. And so if you're not really sold on AI, like generative AI, ChatGPT, uh, right? Some things, some of these things, even Google bakes into the browser. These things are even going to be baked into the Samsung keyboard. There's going to be a lot of things baked into the Galaxy S24 Ultra that have to do with AI. And so if you're not sold on AI, you may want to consider not upgrading from your current device to the S24 Ultra. The next thing is if you were hoping to see huge improvements in processing power, charging speeds, you definitely don't want to upgrade to the S24 Ultra. Uh, once again, going back to the spec sheet here, um, Samsung is basically sticking with the same charging speed we've seen before, 0 to 65% in 30 minutes. It's expected to be the same wattage as we currently have on the S23 Ultra. Definitely still way behind what they have on a lot of the Chinese brand phones. And so don't expect a huge upgrade there. In addition to that, we're going to see the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which is a very powerful device, but it's not going to be a huge leaf in gaming and overall day-to-day -day task that you probably do, unless you're a hardcore gamer playing some of the AAA mobile titles, it's not going to be a huge jump from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 that you have in the S23 Ultra. Now, if you have an older phone, this particular thing may not hold, but it is something to keep in mind at the end of the day. The last one is build materials. I've read, I was surprised that a lot of people do not like titanium. We've seen the renders, you can see them here, you see the material, 
the durability is going to be titanium. That's going to be the build material that instead of having these rails that are aluminum here, you'll have a brushed titanium look. No matter what color you get, uh, that's what's going to come on the S24 Ultra. If you're not a huge fan of titanium, and I honestly didn't think this was a big deal, I thought titanium was kind of going to be universally great, fine across the board. People, Maybe some people didn't care, but a lot of people would like it. It seems like a lot of people are against the jump to titanium. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to decrease the weight, um, and it is actually a little bit softer, as we've seen with the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. If you drop the device, usually with titanium, uh, you're going to see it kind of crunch a little bit easier. Um, so at the end of the day, that could easily be a reason why people do not want to see the upgrade is that it leads to the kind of cracking a little bit easier than we would see on other devices. The final reason you may not want to upgrade to the Galaxy S24 Ultra is that we expect to see a price increase in the European and US markets, at least that's the rumor. And if you're perfectly happy with your current phone, whether it's an S23 Ultra, S22 Ultra, and there's really not as many upgrades as you expected, you might as well wait for the S25 Ultra and save that money since it's going to be a $1,400 to $1,500 phone. And that, of course, is no small price at the end of the day. So these are some of my thoughts on why you may not want to upgrade. There's certainly some changes from the S23 Ultra that you may not like, like the change from curve to flat, uh, the change to titanium for the build materials, uh, all these additions of AI, and then also perhaps a price increase could save your money. And if it's not a enthusiast hobby for you, that might be a reasonable thing to do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know a lot of you are enthusiasts just like me. Um, and if you are interested in getting that mystery box, the S24 Ultra, you can sign up on the links in the pinned comment and description. Put an email, first name, last name. I am going to be sending out uh, emails to people very soon about the initial case preferences. So if you sign up for the mystery box, choose your case color and all that kind of stuff. So get on the list as soon as possible so I can send those out. Appreciate you guys watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.